Hello and welcome back to another Fear the Walking Dead video and today we'll be kind of breaking down and analysing the Fear the Walking Dead Season 7B trailer and this was quite a bit harder than the Walking Dead Season 11B trailer just because in that one I could like pick out big moments be like okay this is all connected this is kind of the premise of it but with this it's quite a lot harder but I feel like I've got some major points and some major things that this trailer teases so let's get right into this and the first thing which is the easiest to identify is that we are going to get a lot of Alicia. Uh, basically the first half of this trailer is all Alicia focused. Which is great because she should be the main character when Madison left. But now we're getting a lot of her. It looks like it's going to be a very personal strand and Alicia war. We see very little Morgan. Which is really good. I feel like the back half is not going to be Morgan's story. With also Madison returning and stuff like that. It makes more sense for Alicia to take the front and become more of the leader. So it makes that scene more impactful when that finally happens. Instead of just, oh Morgan, and then the side character suddenly has a bigger moment. And it's like, no. The next thing I do want to talk about is that I think this trailer is kind of showing us that there's a bigger threat than just Strand. Because a lot of these shots, it's Morgan's group, or Alicia's group I should say, is fighting the kind of deviants and kind of outcasts of her own Padre group so what I think is going to happen we do see Strand doing some evil things like killing people and pushing people off roofs but we don't get much contact between Strand and Alicia's group and it is kind of a struggle because we do see fighting and maybe we're meant to think that it's Strand's group but I think because we're getting a lot of that bad guy that was like kind of set up at the end of the first half what we're going to get is kind of an alliance between Strand and Alicia to fight these people at some point. It will start off, the second half will start off with Alicia versus Strand. But then these guys, because we've seen a lot of them in the trailer, they're going to pose a bigger threat to Alicia and her shift will turn over to that. And then you'll get a kind of temporary alliance, take out that. And then I think some betraying will happen or Strand will die in the process. That's what I think is going to happen. I feel like... The all-out war between Alicia Strand is going to be really short. And it's going to focus on this other guy. I think his name is... It starts with A. It's like Arnold or something. It'll focus on him being kind of the back-half villain. And Strand and Alicia will stop the war just to try and defend the tower. And then Strand will die something afterwards when Strand and Alicia kind of have a squabble afterwards. And the threat's no longer gone. So the alliance is broken. And we're not going to get any big fights between these two characters. It will just be kind of a little like kind of little fight between just Strand and Alicia. Instead of a big all out war like we thought we were getting. I feel like the all out war is going to be against these other people. Not Strand and Alicia. They're only going to get a small all out war for the first few episodes. And then most of the war is going to be on these other guys. And then we get a little squabble afterwards. And somebody dies. That's what I think this is setting up and implying because we see a lot of the other guy and I just feel like that's what we're getting and we're just getting duped. Just looking back through the trailer, I just realised that the reason why we don't see a lot of Morgan is that I believe Morgan's going to be captured by the third party. I can tell this because we see in this shot Morgan's wearing this outfit and we see in a later shot that someone in the same outfit who has a mask on has been buried alive. And I believe Morgan has spent a big chunk of the back half being captured by the third party. And that is maybe one of the reasons why Alicia shifts her focus away from Strand. Because she wants to save Morgan. It makes a lot of sense why we don't see a lot of him. And it makes a lot of sense why this guy, Arnold, is going to be the big bad. Some big character deaths are also teased in this trailer, I think. And I have kind of three main ones and just kind of a fourth one just because Luciana is basically not in the trailer. She's in one or two shots. And there is like kind of a speech near the end of the trailer to Alicia, I assume, from the third party guy. I think I'm going to call him Arnold, saying that you basically killed people. It's all your fault. And I think this is definitely talking about Alicia's going to lose somebody. That's maybe important to her. And that's four people. So the least likely is Luciana. Just because she's basically barely in the trailer. However Luciana is such a small character. You can just write this off as. She's such a small character she's not important. However they're making Daniel a bigger character. 
why they also not make Luciana a bigger character. But now my big main three characters, I believe, will die is one, is Charlie. The whole reason why I think Charlie is going to die is they're bringing Madison back. So why would they keep that character around? Of because it's going to annoy a bunch of fans that Madison doesn't kill her. So I feel like they could kill her off before Madison comes back. So you don't get that issue later on. And we do see a lot of shots of Charlie in this trailer. However, she's always alone and she's always with this other guy. We don't see her with other people. And that, I think, is from her episode 9. Because she's the main character of episode 9. I think she's going to die in episode 9. And it's going to be kind of the villainous thing Strand does. In that episode where he kills Charlie. Because we don't see Charlie interact with everyone else. And when we get shots of everyone else's groups. We never see Charlie with them. And because we know Charlie's getting a big episode. Episode 9. I believe she's going to die then. Now the second most likely guy I think could die. And someone close to Alicia. Which would make that kind of sentence and quote work near the end. Is Wes. I think Wes is going to die. Because we see a lot of Wes's trailer. We see that he gets captured by the third party. I'm going to call him Arnold. That's probably not his name. And we see him tackling Dwight. But the question is, why would he tackle Dwight? They're both on Alicia's team. I think he's dead in this scene. I think he's a walker. Do you know why I think he's a walker? Because we do not see his face. We see Dwight's face. We know Dwight is not a walker. But what is the explanation for West attacking Dwight in this scene? I believe he's a walker. Or he's somehow gone to the third party or strand side and he's gonna die i just believe he's dead and i most likely believe he's a walker in this scene we see with dwight also talking about dwight he has a kind of a is he dead moment in the trailer too with um a tunnel collapsing on him while the tower is collapsing and it was escaping the tower i think it's the least likely of the three though just because we see a lot of dwight and it's all kind of our order, all the things. So I think he's just easily going to make it out. But they're not going to kill Dwight like this. He's a walking dead character. So he obviously cannot die. But with them bringing back Madison. They kind of have to make space. And because she's such a big role. They kind of need to get rid of quite a few people. So Dwight is a maybe. But he's on the least light of the maybe. Now that's what the big thing this trailer. And that is Madison's return. And we probably are going to get a lot more Madison before. Because they're showing it in the trailer. Why would they show the final part of episode 16? Why would they show us like the season finale part? And because we see it, I definitely believe they're not pulling like kind of a movie thing where they show Jeff Goldblum's entire screen time in the new Jurassic World or the old one. That They're not doing that. I think what they are is that Madison's going to play a bigger role than before. And with the way Fear always does their arcs, they don't do an entire season. I think episode 14 or 13 is going to be the end of kind of Strand's arc. And episode 14 or 15, we will get that shot we just saw in the trailer. And then we'll have an episode where it focuses on Madison and how she's dealing with that. And then episode 16 will focus on Alicia and then find Madison at the end. That's what I think is going to happen. We'll get Madison in three episodes. She'll have basically a cameo in two of them. And 15, episode 100, will be her big episode. That's what I think is going to happen. It makes a lot of sense. Also, in this shot we see is that Madison is wearing her exact same clothes that she's wearing when the stadium burned down. And we know it's been a couple months. And I think it's been like maybe almost a year or a year since that big event or two or something like that. So that means that this is a flashback. What we're seeing here is probably from episode 15 and it is her flashback scene it is right after the stadium burnt down because we see that she doesn't look too well i also quickly want to mention the like respirator part of this trailer because a lot of people are saying that oh madison's not too well however if you use your eyes and look we see that the outfit the wrist and clothes are different when the person's on the respirator and that the biggest giveaway madison's got gloves on so the Westbury scene is going to be the season 8 villain and he's on the other side of that kind of speaker thing breathing for his respirator while Madison is sat down just having to deal with it and being told that she's no longer called Madison. 
And that is my video. Those are kind of my thoughts and opinions and what I believe is going to happen in the back off of Season 7 for Fear the Walking Dead. Please tell me down below, do you agree with what I've kind of broken down and what I think is going to happen? Please tell me if you agree, disagree, and please tell me what you think is going to happen in the back off of Season 7. Please tell me what your opinions are and what the trailer shows. And if you want more Walking Dead content, look on the screen for more videos. I recommend you do because you'll find something else you like. And feel free to subscribe for more Walking Dead content every week from anything walking dead come to me and i'll have it but this is it for me today so goodbye peace out and i'll talk to you later